And uh, it's been always a very turbulent moment for me, especially coming uh, back from the injury. And now, uh, what a way to end the championship with uh, a special medal, which is a goal. How tactical was that today? It was, it was really very tactical because you know, the pressure was really so much and everybody wanted to win that gold medal. And this was really, the field was incredible and to come first is really not a mean achievement. Uh, Joshua, right from the start of the year you had not won any single competitive race. You lost your world first country title in the past, second of the New York Half Marathon, Florence, Diamond Lake, Lausanne, none of them you weren't finishing first. Was this the toughest of the three world titles you won? Uh, for me, it was uh, all my plans were to win the title in uh, here in Budapest. So all the rest of the races were just to get me back into shape and, and, and the confidence. And uh, I was I was really grateful. I, I I wasn't thinking that I was going to win a Bronx in the first country, but I knew that I needed to be patient, especially up to Budapest. Uh, Joshua, you are among the first men to win three back-to-back gold medals in 10,000 meters at the World Championships. You are superhuman. How does that make you feel? For me, it's a, it's a special moment for me. And uh, it's not a mean achievement. Uh, and uh, this goes without saying that, saying that uh, uh, for me, it was always a, a honor for me to, to win uh, uh, major titles, especially from the legends who have done it, from uh, Kenanisa, from uh, Mohamed Farah, so it's special for me. Yeah. Did you miss Jacob all day? Yeah, yeah, for me always it's a, it's a honor for me to to, to, to press with the, my, my friend Jacob Piglimo, but it was even more difficult uh, for me to win today because he wasn't there, because normally we have to fight as a team. Um, in, uh, in Doha 2019, you had company of Abdallah Mande. Yeah. Uh, you Aragon 2022, you had company of Steven Kisa. And Here Jacob. you had uh, younger compatriots, yeah. Joel Ayeko and yeah. uh, Rogers Kibet. Red for me, Doha, Oregon, and now Budapest. I think uh, normally it's, uh, it's uh, there's a great support when you are running with uh, your teammate. So always uh, mentally it's going to help you, especially uh, from the beginning of the races. Uh, you just need companionship, you need team spirit, and see how it goes at the end. Okay, and finally, the 5,000 meters comes up. Uh, you have only doubled once uh, in the World Championships. You're trying to do it again. Last year you finished ninth, injury problems. Are you going for the 5 cans? For me now, it's very, what is very important now is uh, to focus on my recovery and uh, see if I can still be able to run the 5K. For me, the target was to win the 10K. I think you mentioned at the start of the interview an injury that you were dealing with that year, this year. Is that right? Can you give yeah, us the yeah, details yeah, yeah. on that? What was it? When? Yeah, I after after Oregon, I got a. It's called the, the runner's knee. It's always uh, over here. So I was battling with it. I was out uh, for three months after the championship, and now after that, I was uh, I was taken for recovery, and uh, it was always delaying me, and I was. I added some kilograms and to come back to shape was always a problem. But now it was step by step in the right direction. You seem to always run well in the hot weather. It doesn't bother you as much. With some athletes, you know, it really does bother them. Today was hot. Do you feel it during the race or how do you handle it so well? Uh, normally it's about uh, preparation. Uh, preparation especially with the heat. You have to be mentally strong and also in the training, you have to employ some other dynamics, especially with the training in a, in, in a hot place. Yeah. Uh, were you surprised when Ayeko took off early in the race? Were you expecting him to? Was that part of team tactics at all? Uh, normally, for him, uh, he's more of a cross-country runner, so I, it was not surprising because he, he's his first race to run on the spikes, yeah. so uh, especially on the track. So it, it wasn't surprising for me. Yeah. For, for, for me and for the team, we just told him to run his race of his own. You know? yeah. Yeah. I was curious, one of your teammates, uh, your training partners, Janet Chamusto, was suspended recently. I know you kind of argued to help her get back into the group after it's some time away. What was your reaction when you found out she got suspended? Uh, for me, uh, always uh, I know that uh, it's very important for us to, to be healthy and uh, I forget for it for at least one. And uh, for me as a senior athlete, 
and uh, it's, a, it's a shame that uh, such things can still happen. Yeah. And uh, I'm not responsible for anyone's actions. Yeah. Did she give any explanation to you guys? I don't know. She was. She didn't. She wasn't able to give us an explanation. Yeah. Thank you, Joshua.